Cataract that is senile cataract. There are four stages. The incipient type, the immature stage, mature stage and the hypermature stage. Incipient, immature becomes mature and then that becomes hypermature. Now let's look at what is incipient cataract. Now incipient is an early cataract. The patient doesn't know that he has a cataract because there are hardly any symptoms over here. Now this is the normal lens. It is very smooth and homogeneous with a compact mass. So the patient has a good vision. However, as he ages, water droplets start collecting within the some of the fibers of the lens causing lamellar separation of these fibers. Okay, As the water droplets occupy the space between the, these lens fibers, it causes a lamellar separation. Now, the lens is no more a homogeneous compact mass and the light rays get scattered this way when they pass through the lens. This is the stage of incipient cataract. In the clinical features we know there is a very minimal loss of vision. However, there is a mild loss of contrast sensitivity. You can compare these two images. This is how a patient can see and there is very mild diplopia. Then these are the only symptoms. Now coming to immature cataract, this is how an immature cataract looks on your slit lamp examination. It's a partially opaque lens with a yellowish grey colour. Okay, we know that the lens is usually transparent and clear but in immature cataract it is yellowish grey in colour along with an iris shadow. So what is this iris shadow? When the light is shown onto the iris, the shadow of the iris falls on the lens. This is a, a diagnostic feature of um, immature cataract. You can say that it is present in immature cataract but absent in a mature cataract. Okay. Iris shadow very important. Now let's look at mature cataract. This complete opaque lens. See the lens is so opaque and hard you can see. It's white in color and often intumescent because it swells with water. And then it starts pushing the iris forward causing glaucoma. Okay. So when the lens keeps swelling up because of absorption of water droplets. It pushes the iris forward causing a block in the trabecular meshwork or the uh, drainage channel of the aqueous humor causing glaucoma. This is one of the type of lens induced glaucomas. Okay. Now hypermature proceeds the mature type of cataract. What happens here is that the lens shrinks. See this is the lens the brown colored that you are seeing and the capsule crumbles because the lens is very old. It shrinks and it sinks in the cataract. Then there is phacodonesis that is rocking of the lens because it is see floating in the liquefied um, cortex all around it. It is shrunk down and there is a movement. Phacodonesis means uh, moving or rocking movement of the lens when the eyes are moved. Okay. There can either be subluxation that is partial dislocation of the lens or complete dislocation of the lens within the shrunken capsule. Okay? Then hypermature cataract is of two types, morgagnian and sclerotic cataract. Now, let's look at these two types. Morgagnian is when a cortical cataract becomes hypermature. When a nuclear cataract becomes hypermature, we call it a sclerotic cataract or nuclear sclerosis, famously known as nucleus sclerosis. Morgagnian, you apply it to the cortical cataract, hypermature cortical cataract. Now, the cortex liquefies, so the nucleus falls into it. We have seen that the cortex shrinks and liquefies and the nucleus starts moving in it. Uh, causing your phacodonesis. Now, however, sclerotic cataract is of two types, brunescent and nigra. They both suggest colors. Brunescent means brown color, nigra means black color. The nigra, cataracta nigra is the first hardest type of cataract. It's the most hardest type of cataract and brunescent cataract is the second hardest type. Okay. Now let's look at the symptoms of cataract. It's a slow painless loss of vision, diplopia or polyopia and colored halos. 
we have seen what happens to these color halos in our glaucoma classes we have studied the finchamps stenopixelate test yeah so these colored halos can be differentiated from those of glaucoma and acute mucopurulent conjunctivitis so the symptoms of cataract are slow painless loss of vision diplopia polyopia and colored halos now a quick revision of all the causes resulting in slow painless loss of vision cataract refractive errors open angle glaucoma ARMD and diabetic retinopathy most common is cataract succeeded by refractive errors now how do you examine cataract a quick word about slit lamp examination this is how slit lamp examination is done through this you can stage the cataract you can um, find out the type of cataract whether it's cortical nuclear posterior subcapsular whatever type and you can diagnose cataract Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico app. Now, thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.